Everybody, repeat after me. Taka di mi ta di ta di ta. Taka di mi taka, taka di mi taka. Taka di taka di taka di ta. Ta mi ta mi ta mi ta. Taka di taka di taka di ta. Ta di mi ta di mi ta di mi ta. Taka mi taka mi taka mi ta. Very nice. Okay, here we go. We are talking about sixteenth notes today. There are four sixteenth notes in a quarter note. There are two sixteenth notes in an eighth note. Sixteenth individually is one sixteenth of a beat. The way that we speak those is ta ka di mi ta ka di mi, and it is the namesake for our rhythm system. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sixteenth notes look like this. Ta ka di mi. They have two bar lines on them, or it's possible that they could have two flags on them. So instead of a bar line, if they're individual. Uh, two flags. And in our system, like I said, it's ta ka di mi, which is really neat because the ta fits in with one eighth note, which is worth two sixteenths. And the D fits right in with that second eighth note, also called D, and it has those two sixteenths inside it. There are a few ways that this ta ka di mi can express itself. So we're going to go through all of them real fast. Repeat after me ta ka di mi, ta ka di mi. This next one is the first sixteenth note and then a dotted eighth note. So a dotted eighth note, remember a dot adds one half of the note's value to the note. So if an eighth note is worth two sixteenths, then a half of that would make it worth three sixteenth notes. So all three of these sixteenth notes are up in that ka because of the dotted eighth. So you have this, ta ka, ta ka, ta ka, ta ka. Try it, ready, and go. Nice job. This next one is a dotted eighth note first. So me becomes the last sixteenth. That's worth three of them. That's worth one. That gives us our four. So that sounds like this. Ta mi ta mi ta mi ta. Go. Ta mi ta mi ta mi ta. Good for you. This variation we have two sixteenth notes, then an eighth. And this one we have one eighth and then two sixteenth notes. I'm gonna do those at the same time. So we have taka di ta di mi, taka di ta di mi. Try it, ready, and a go. Nice. And then this last part, we took a sixteenth note, then one eighth note, and then a sixteenth note. That sounds like this: taka mi, taka mi, taka mi, taka mi. Now I want you to go through that line as if it were a measure. And we'll do it together slowly. One, two, ready, and go. Taka di mi taka, ta mi taka di, ta di mi taka mi. Whoa, that was a lot. See if you can get some more this time. I'll point as we go through. One, two, three, e and a four, e and a taka di mi ta. Oh no, Mr. Smith made a mistake. Ah, let's try again. Ready and go. Taka di mi taka ta mi taka di ta di mi taka mi. Try again, old man. Ready, go. Taka di mi taka ta mi taka di ta di mi taka mi taka mi. Takami is not a rhythm we see very often in vocal music, at least in music that we do in our high school choir. But uh, it's a good one to know, and hopefully you can do it without making a mistake twice. I made two mistakes. Oh my god! Um, so hopefully that all makes sense. All right, and now we are going to try to put together our our rhythm stuff 
and create a fun little rhythm exercise for you. So over here, a couple things to point out. We have eighth notes to start. We know they're eighth notes because there's only one flat or one beam. Then we have a pack of 16th notes. We know that because there's two bars right here, or two beams, excuse me, dotted quarter notes to this D, and then ta di mi ta ka di. That's gonna come very quickly. This right here is gonna be D as well, right? Because we start on the weak part of beat one. D ta di ta ka di mi. D ta di ta ka di mi. Let's see how we can do together. One, two, three and four and D ta di ta ka di mi ta di ta di mi ta ka di. Try again. One and two and three and four and D ta di ta ka di mi ta di ta di mi ta ka di. Try to do it on your own without me pointing. Two, three, four. Nice job, y'all.